Good morning. Bill Thompson for Outside Insiders, chaps. They're uh, engrossed in conversation, so I won't interrupt them. But I did notice a, uh, a Zeddy sitting here. <coughs> Folks, there's a tram stop just down the road. You could have uh, taken the tram to get here. Instead of that, you've had the Zeddy sitting here for uh, half an hour, 45 minutes. What about the greenhouse gas emissions of the V8 powered Zeddy here, folks? What about climate change, Richard? What about the greenhouse gas emissions? The Labor Party's all uh, in favour of reducing emissions, but you're in the Zeddy, mate. Mate, what a hypocrite. What an absolute hypocrite. Everyone else can reduce their emissions, but you get to ride around in chauffeur driven luxury. Bill Thompson for Outside Insiders. This is uh, one of several occasions when I've spotted climate change spruikers who lecture the rest of us about our emissions swanning around in chauffeur driven luxury. I dare say these folks are off to uh, the airport to uh, fly on a fuel guzzling greenhouse gas emitting aircraft while they lecture us about our emissions. What a pack of hypocrites. What an absolute disgrace they are. They lecture us interminably about reducing our emissions, doing everything we can to reduce our impact on the climate. And these guys, utter hypocrites that they are, just swan around. The, the driver had been sitting in the Commonwealth limo for uh, probably 45 minutes. They usually have the, uh, the motor idling to maintain the, uh, their comfort inside the car and good luck to them. But the politicians who lecture us about reducing our emissions, but swan around in chauffeur driven luxury, there's a tram stop just below the ABC sign on the building there. These hypocrites could uh, take public transport, but nah, uh, that's beneath their dignity. They can swan around in chauffeur driven luxury all they want and lecture us about reducing our emissions. I had wanted to uh, engage Richard Miles in discussion about the police raids on journalists. I was a, uh, an ATO auditor for uh, 26 years. I was subject to secrecy provisions that made it a criminal offence for me or any other ATO employee to reveal in an unauthorised fashion taxpayer information. There have been rare occasions when tax officers have revealed taxpayer information and I believe uh, a matter may be before the courts right now in relation to a chap by the name of Richard Boyle. <clears throat> I'll be interested to see how uh, that matter progresses. But if I had taken it upon myself to reveal confidential taxpayer information to a journalist, 
I would expect. And it subsequently became, the authority subsequently became aware of it. I would expect there to be a police investigation. It would not surprise me to have police knocking on my door and seeking to access my property, looking for relevant evidence. And it wouldn't surprise me if the police knocked on the, at the premises of any reporter to whom I had divulged confidential information. In my opinion, while some people would argue that that is an infringement on freedom of the press, I would see it as a perfectly reasonable exercise for an investigation into the release of confidential information. As far as the ABC is concerned, when I saw the publicity about the raids in relation to the Afghan story, I recalled that I was not particularly impressed by yet another ABC attack on Australian military personnel. In some ways it reminded me of their assault on the occasion of allegations that naval personnel had held the hands of asylum seekers on the hot exhausts of patrol boats off Indonesia some years ago. The ABC was hot to trot to report on unproven allegations by blokes in Indonesia that they had been assaulted by Australian military personnel, while at the same time, back in 2013, early 2014, the ABC, as far as I know, was not interested at all in reporting the untested allegation by a woman in Australia that she had been raped by Bill Shorten many years prior. There was a certain element of selectivity by their ABC News on the sorts of untested allegations that they were prepared to report, whilst suppressing knowledge of reports relating to other matters. Bill Thompson for Outside Insiders.